the alien ship rained flaming death upon the fleeing humans, their screams echoing through the smoke-filled colony as the Krylax Empire committed horrors they would soon regret. Fifteen thousand light-years away, Kevin Scott woke with a start, bolting upright in his bunk aboard the UNSC Retribution. Another nightmare. It was always the same one. The memory was seared into his brain. He could still smell the smoke and taste the blood. It felt like it was yesterday. It had been five years since that fateful first contact on Proxima Centauri B, the day humanity's grand expedition to settle the stars ended in fire and despair. The Krillax had come without warning or provocation. Their gargantuan warships blotting out the sky as their orbital bombardment rained hell upon the defenseless colony. Kevin had lost everything that day. His home, his wife and unborn child. Any shred of mercy in his heart had been incinerated by the alien invaders. Now his soul ran on pure spite. It was what fueled him through the grueling training to join the newly formed UNSC Marines. What kept him going on mission, after suicidal mission, putting boot to alien ass. And it was what he would need now, more than ever. For retribution wasn't her name for nothing. Intelligence reports had identified a potential ally in the fight against the Krylax, the mysterious Eleani, an advanced civilization on the far side of the Orion Cygnus arm. If they could be persuaded to join the cause, it could turn the tide of war. The stakes couldn't be higher. The Krylax were pushing deeper into human space by the day. If this diplomatic mission failed, it could spell the end for humanity. They needed allies. They needed hope and Kevin would be damned if he was going to let those alien bastards slaughter any more of his people. He would complete this mission, or die trying. The sleek, gunmetal grey hull of the UNSC Retribution sliced through the void of slipspace, the ship's powerful engines propelling it towards its destination. As the vessel neared the Eliani homeworld of Ilya Prime, Kevin Scott stood in the armory, his fingers running over the smooth contours of his powered combat armor. He methodically checked each piece of equipment, the plasma rifle, the gravitic grenades, the helmet's heads-up display. Despite the fact that this was supposed to be a diplomatic mission, Kevin couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. Call it a soldier's instinct, honed by years of fighting the Krillax, but he knew better than to let his guard down. The ship's intercom crackled to life. Attention all personnel, this is Captain Graves. We will be exiting slip space in T-minus five minutes. All members of the diplomatic team report to the briefing room immediately. Kevin secured the last piece of his armor and made his way to the briefing room, the heavy thud of his boots echoing through the corridors. As he entered, he saw Captain Marcus Graves standing at the head of the table, his face a mask of grim determination. All right, listen up. Graves began, his voice gruff. Our mission is simple but critical. We need to make contact with the Iliani leadership and convince them to join us in the fight against the Krillax. We also need to gather any intel we can on their technology and military capabilities. But let me be clear, this is a diplomatic mission first and foremost. We're here to make friends, not enemies. Understood? A chorus of yes sir rang out from the assembled squad. Suddenly the ship shuddered as it dropped out of slipspace. But instead of the peaceful entry into orbit they were expecting, the retribution found itself surrounded by a fleet of Eliani warships. The alien vessels were unlike anything Kevin had ever seen. Sleek and crystalline, they seemed to shimmer with an otherworldly energy. Sir, so we're being hailed by the Eliani, the comms officer reported, her voice tense. On screen, Graves ordered, a holographic projection flickered to life on the bridge, revealing an imposing Eleani figure. His skin was a deep, iridescent blue, and his eyes glowed with an intense, intelligent light. I am Rigor, Supreme Commander of the Eleani Stellar Navy, the alien spoke, his voice resonating with authority. State your purpose in our space, humans, and choose your words carefully. The tension on the bridge was palpable, as Regor's gaze swept over the crew, his tone a mix of suspicion and disdain, Kevin's hand instinctively tightened on his plasma rifle. This was not the welcome they had been hoping for. Captain Graves stepped forward, 
his hands raised in a placating gesture. Supreme Commander Regor, I assure you, we come in peace. Our mission is purely diplomatic. We seek to forge an alliance against the Krillax, a threat to both our civilizations. Regor's holographic projection flickered as he let out a derisive snort. Spare me your platitudes, Captain. We have been monitoring your communications since the Krillax laid waste to your pathetic colony on Proxima Centauri B. Your species is weak, and now you have the audacity to come begging for our aid. Kevin felt a surge of anger at the Eliani commander's words. He clenched his fists, fighting the urge to speak out of turn. Regor continued, his tone dripping with contempt. The Eliani have no interest in allying with a race as feeble as yours. In fact, we have come to a decision. To prevent you from dragging us into your war with the Krillax, we will conquer your Earth and enslave its population. Consider it a preemptive measure to ensure our own survival. The bridge erupted into chaos, as the Eliani fleet opened fire on the retribution. The ship shuddered under the impact of the crystalline energy weapons, alarms blaring as the shields struggled to hold. Battle stations, Captain Graves roared over the din. Kevin, get your squad to the hangar bay and engage those Eliani fighters. Kevin nodded curtly, already moving towards the exit. You heard the captain, let's move. The squad raced through the corridors, the ship rocking beneath their feet as they made their way to the hangar bay. As they boarded their heavily armed dropship, Kevin felt a grim sense of determination settle over him. They had come here seeking peace, but now they would have to fight for their very survival. The dropship launched from the hangar bay, its engines roaring as it streaked towards the Eleani fighters. Kevin gripped the controls tightly, his eyes narrowing as he locked onto his first target. The Eleani ships were fast and maneuverable their crystalline hulls shimmering with energy as they darted through space. But Kevin was faster. He squeezed the trigger, sending a barrage of plasma bolts towards the nearest fighter. The alien ship exploded in a brilliant flash of light, its shattered remains spinning off into the void. Around him, the rest of the squad engaged the Eliani, their dropships weaving through the enemy formation as they fought to keep the pressure off the retribution. The larger ship's point defense systems lit up the void as they fended off the Eliani assault, but even from a distance, Kevin could see that the retribution had taken heavy damage. Captain, we can't take much more of this, the helmsman shouted over the comm. Shields are failing and we've got hull breaches on decks four through seven. There was a moment of tense silence before Captain Graves's voice crackled over the comm. All hands, prepare for emergency slip space jump. We're getting the hell out of here. Kevin felt a surge of relief at the captain's words. As much as he wanted to stand and fight, he knew they were outmatched. They had to retreat, regroup, and warn Earth of the impending Eliani invasion. The dropships disengaged from the enemy fighters, racing back towards the retribution, as the larger ship's slipspace drive powered up. Kevin watched as the hangar bay doors slid open, his dropship sliding into its berth just as the ship began to accelerate. The stars outside the viewscreen stretched into long, shimmering lines as the retribution tore open a hole in the fabric of space-time. Kevin felt the familiar lurch in his stomach as the ship transitioned into slipspace, the Eliani ships, and the glittering expanse of Ilya Prime vanishing behind them. But even as they made their escape, Kevin knew that this was only the beginning. The Eliani were coming and Earth needed to be ready. He just hoped they would have enough time to prepare for the storm that was about to break over humanity's homeworld. The retribution burst out of slipspace, the distorted lines of stars snapping back into pinpricks of light. But as Earth swam into view, a sight of unimaginable horror filled the viewscreen. A massive Eleani invasion fleet hung in orbit, their crystalline ships glinting menacingly in the sun's rays. Explosions blossomed across Earth's surface as the aliens unleashed a devastating orbital bombardment. Major cities burned, pillars of smoke rising from the ruins of once great metropolises. No, Kevin whispered, his voice raw with disbelief and rage. How did they get here so fast? Captain Graves gripped the arms of his command chair, his face ashen. They must have tracked our slipspace jump somehow. Dear God, we led them right to Earth. 
The bridge crew watched in stunned silence as the UNSC fleet, caught completely off guard, struggled to mount a defense against the technologically superior Eliani ships. Mac rounds and missiles streaked through space, but the Eliani vessels danced effortlessly through the barrage, their shimmering energy shields absorbing the impacts with ease. Sir, I'm picking up distress calls from all over the planet, the comms officer reported, her voice shaking. New York, London, Tokyo, they're all under attack. Civilian casualties are in the millions and climbing fast. Kevin felt a cold, hard knot of determination settle in his gut. Captain, permission to join the ground defense. Graves nodded grimly. Granted, we need every soldier we can get down there, but Kevin, could be careful. We don't know what we're up against. Minutes later, Kevin and his squad were rocketing towards the surface in a drop pod. The flaming wreckage of UNSC ships and Eliani fighters streaking past them as they plummeted through the atmosphere. They hit the ground hard in the heart of New York City. The once towering skyscrapers now reduced to mountains of rubble and twisted metal. As the squad fanned out, weapons at the ready, Kevin got his first good look at the Eliani soldiers. They were tall, easily seven feet or more, their bodies encased in sleek, form fitting armor that shimmered with the same crystalline energy as their ships. They moved with an inhuman grace, their movements fluid and precise as they advanced through the ruins, energy weapons blazing. Open fire, Kevin barked, his plasma rifle spitting bolts of searing blue energy at the nearest Ileani. But to his horror, the shots splashed harmlessly against the alien's personal force field, the shimmering barrier absorbing the plasma with ease. The Eliani returned fire, their weapons unleashing devastating beams of crystalline energy that cut through the human soldiers like a scythe through wheat. Kevin watched in helpless rage as his squadmates fell one by one, their screams echoing through the shattered streets. But even as despair threatened to overwhelm him, Kevin refused to give up. He rallied the survivors, leading them in a desperate charge against an Eliani command post that had been set up in the ruins of the Empire State Building. The fighting was brutal and bloody, the Eliani soldiers proving to be formidable opponents even in close quarters, but through sheer grit and determination, Kevin and his remaining squadmates managed to capture the command post, fighting their way through the alien defenders with a savage fury born of desperation. As they secured the area, Kevin's eye was drawn to a strange glowing device in the center of the room. It was a holographic display of some kind, showing a complex network of tunnels and chambers deep beneath the Earth's surface. And there, nestled in the heart of the labyrinth, was an object that made Kevin's blood run cold. It was a massive, pulsing crystal, its surface etched with strange alien glyphs that seemed to writhe and twist before his eyes. What the hell is that? One of the soldiers whispered, his voice tinged with awe and fear. Kevin shook his head, a sense of dread settling over him like a shroud. I don't know, but whatever it is, the Eliani want it bad, bad enough to invade Earth and slaughter millions just to get their hands on it. He stared at the hologram, his mind racing with the implications of what they had discovered. An ancient artifact buried deep beneath the Earth's surface. An artifact the Eliani believed held the key to unlocking an unimaginably powerful weapon. And now, with the Eliani invasion in full swing and the UNSC on the brink of collapse, it was up to Kevin and his ragtag band of survivors to find a way to stop them, before it was too late. Armed with the knowledge of the Eliani's true objective, Kevin gathered the surviving members of his squad. They were battered and bloodied, but a fierce determination burned in their eyes. They would not let Earth fall, not while they still drew breath. Listen up, Kevin barked, his voice cutting through the smoke-filled air. We've got a new mission. The Eliani are after some kind of ancient artifact buried deep in the Amazon rainforest. We're going to infiltrate their dig site and find out what the hell they're after. The squad nodded grimly, checking their weapons and armor. They knew the odds were stacked against them, but they were ready to fight to the last man. The journey through the war-torn landscape was harrowing. The once lush rainforest, 
now a charred wasteland. Eliani patrols roamed the area, their crystalline armor glinting in the dim light that filtered through the ash-choked sky. But Kevin and his team were skilled and stealthy, evading detection as they closed in on the dig site. The Eliani's main excavation was a massive, sprawling complex, bristling with advanced technology and heavily armed guards. We'll need to split up, Kevin whispered, surveying the site from a high ridge. Jax, you and Mika will create a diversion at the eastern perimeter. Draw as many of those bastards away as you can. The rest of us will infiltrate from the west and locate the artifact. The squad split up, their hearts pounding with a mix of fear and adrenaline. Jax and Miko moved into position, readying their weapons. At Kevin's signal, they opened fire, plasma bolts and gravitic grenades tearing into the Eliani defences. Alarms blared across the complex as the aliens rushed to respond to the attack. In the chaos, Kevin and the remaining squad members slipped inside, navigating the maze of tunnels and chambers with tense, practiced efficiency. As they delved deeper into the heart of the complex, they stumbled upon a massive chamber, its walls lined with pulsing, glowing conduits, and there, suspended in the center of the room, was the artifact. It was a large crystalline structure, its surface etched with intricate alien glyphs. As Kevin approached, the artifact began to hum with power, a deep, resonant thrumming that he could feel in his bones. Suddenly a blinding flash of light erupted from the artifact, engulfing the chamber. When it faded, a shimmering holographic figure stood before them, a tall, slender being with luminous eyes and an aura of ancient wisdom. I am the architect, the figure spoke, its voice echoing through the minds of the awestruck humans. I am an artificial intelligence created by the progenitors to guide and protect the species they seeded throughout the galaxy. The AI explained the progenitor's legacy, the network of powerful weapons left behind as a failsafe against aggressive species that threatened the balance of the cosmos. It revealed the Eliani's plan to claim these weapons and establish their dominance over the galaxy. But as the AI studied Kevin and his squad, it sensed something different in them, a resilience, a potential for greatness that set them apart from the Eliani. You are the worthy successors to the progenitors, the architect declared. The future of the galaxy rests in your hands. I grant you access to the progenitor weapon cache, the knowledge and technology to turn the tide against the Eliani invaders. Use it wisely and remember the sacrifices that brought you to this moment. With a wave of its hand, the AI opened a hidden chamber, revealing a cache of advanced weapons and armor, technology beyond anything the humans had ever seen. Kevin and his squad armed themselves, a newfound sense of purpose burning in their hearts. They were no longer just soldiers fighting for survival. They were the guardians of Earth, the inheritors of the progenitor's legacy, and they would not fail. As they emerged from the complex, the sky above was filled with the flashes of orbital battle. The UNSC fleet, bolstered by the sudden appearance of progenitor technology, was engaging the Eliani in a desperate final stand. Kevin rallied the remaining human forces, a ragtag army of survivors and resistance fighters. Armed with progenitor weapons, they launched a daring assault on the Eliani's central command ship, the architect's knowledge guiding their every move. The battle was fierce and bloody, the Eliani fighting with the fury of a cornered beast. But the humans, empowered by their new technology and driven by the righteous anger of a species fighting for its very existence, pushed forward. They breached the command ship's defences, fighting their way to the bridge. There they confronted Rigor himself, the Eliani Supreme Commander's eyes burning with hatred and disbelief. How? he snarled, his crystalline armour pulsing with energy. How could mere humans challenge the might of the Eliani? Kevin stepped forward, his progenitor armour glowing with an ethereal light. You underestimated us, he said, his voice steady and strong. You thought you could crush us beneath your heel, but you forgot one thing. We are human. We do not bow. We do not break. And we will never surrender. The fight that followed was a blur of plasma and crystalline shards, 
Kevin and Rigor locked in a deadly dance of skill and fury. The human soldier fought with a strength and speed he had never known, the progenitor technology enhancing his every move. But Rigor was a formidable opponent, his centuries of combat experience matched by the raw power of his advanced Eleani physiology. In a final, desperate lunge, the Supreme Commander's energy blade pierced Kevin's armor, the searing pain driving him to his knees. Yet even as the life ebbed from his body, Kevin refused to yield. With a final, defiant roar, he activated the command ship's self-destruct sequence, the architect's voice guiding his failing hands over the unfamiliar controls. Rhaegor's eyes widened in horror as the realization of his defeat washed over him. The Eliani ship exploded in a blinding flash of light, the shockwave rippling across the battlefield. The remaining Eliani ships, their command structure shattered, fell into disarray, easy prey for the vengeful human fleet. In the aftermath of the battle, Earth lay in ruins, the once proud cities reduced to rubble and ash. Billions had perished in the Eleani onslaught, the survivors left to pick up the pieces of their shattered world. But even in the depths of their grief, the humans found hope, for they had won against all odds against an enemy that had sought to enslave and destroy them, they had proven themselves worthy of the progenitor's legacy, and with the power of their technology at their fingertips, they would rebuild. The UNSC, now armed with the knowledge and weapons of the ancients, turned its gaze to the stars, for the fight was far from over. The Krillax Empire, the hated foe that had started it all, still lurked in the depths of space, a shadow waiting to fall over humanity once more. But this time, the humans would be ready. They would take the fight to the enemy to avenge the fallen and secure their place among the stars. And at the forefront of this new crusade would be the legend of Kevin Scott, the soldier who had given his life to save his species, the hero who had shown the galaxy the true strength of the human spirit. His sacrifice would never be forgotten, his name whispered in reverence by generations yet unborn, for in the end Kevin had not just fought for Earth, he had fought for the future for the dream of a universe where humanity could stand tall and proud, unshackled by the chains of fear and oppression. And though the road ahead was long and fraught with peril, the humans would face it with the same courage and determination that had carried them through their darkest hour. For they were the inheritors of the stars, the guardians of a legacy that would endure long after the last Iliani and Krillax had faded to dust. The legend of Kevin Scott would light the way, a beacon of hope and defiance in the face of overwhelming odds, and in the hearts of every human who took up arms in defense of their species, his memory would live on, a testament to the indomitable will of a race that had refused to be broken. If you finish this story, please subscribe and like the video, then leave a comment that says, I like the story, and I will heart every single one of them. It really helps me. Thank you for your time.